guys, Nate, the Otter Outdoorsman here. Today on this episode of Know Your Resources, we're going to be covering beech trees in the winter. Right now it's December, uh, and all leaves have really fallen except for pines and beeches. Now, beeches are one of the few trees that holds their leaves through the winter. Um, they're not alive, they're not performing photosynthesis, but they're dead. And because of that, there, the wind is blowing when drying them. Now, I've said in pa a past video that leaves don't make good tinder. However, I said good, so they didn't work. And say they didn't work. If you don't have any other dry tinder around, these can be worked in a pinch. Um, I've actually sat around working with them, and you want to have them loose, you don't want to have them bunched up. Um, so, they work as a good dry tinder because even when there's a foot of snow on the ground, as is soon going to be here in New England, um, you can still find these. And you can actually look through the woods and find them easily because you'll see these clusters of orange above the tree line. So, this is the main resource that you'd be using an American beach for. Um, generally during the fall, I've heard every, I think it was like 15 year, like they're on a 15 year cycle or 7 year cycle, they also have nuts. Um, I have not personally experienced that, but um, my buddy uh, Chris over at Survive and Thrive has told me that uh, he's experienced it, or at least he, he's known about it. Um, he also has a good video on beaches, um, but the way you can identify it is the bark on these and these leaves from the winter. I'll bring you in for a closer look at the bark, and then we'll go from there. So, the bark is a very smooth grayish bark kind of can be mistaken for birch um but it is uh very smooth um and gray the leaves are flat and kind of uh spearhead shaped like this you know brown in the winter these are nice and green in the summer now one of the other benefits of these is these make a good stuff for bedding because they also detract bugs just like the pine does so you up. Well. So as I said, another use for these leaves is they actually can be used as kind of a fluff to sh shove into bedding or pillow. Um, they also can be used as insulation if it's cold out to shove in your clothes. Basically, they just make good airspace. Um, I've used them for sh I've used it for shelter making. I've used it for bedding. Um, you can even shove it in a dry bag and make a pillow. Um, I've heard, but I've never tried. So, again, don't judge me, don't trust me on this, but I've also heard the inner bark is edible in the spring. And so apparently the young shoots, but I wouldn't try that myself, as the young leaves, uh, older leaves, actually are toxic, so I wouldn't eat them. Um, some other benefits is the wood is actually very dense wood, so they're actually good for making structures. Um, they're also good for making utensils. I've made a spoon out of one. <laughs> A spoon. It's actually more of a shovel. I'm not good at spoon carving right now. But that's some basic uses of the wood. So again, my name is Nate. I'm the Otter Outdoorsman. And this has been a Know Your Resources episode on the American Beach. Remember to get out there, learn new trees, have a good day.